touch anything. <laughs> it's the greatest find yet. Nothing compares to it. But it's definitely something you should hear. This is The Real Deal with Larry Lawton. Welcome to The Real Deal with me, Larry Lawton. We got a good show today. It is going to be Nick and I talking about prison slang. We're going to also be talking about some things going on in the prison system that I wanted to really, so to speak, get off my chest. Before I get started, I'm getting back. I'm in the game, I call it. Uh, We got Gangster Redemption book, prison cookbook. If I say it the last time, I really want such closure on this, and I want that, and I want to get that, Nick. We got our starter packs. Closure on what? On this prison book, because I'm sick of it being done out of my hands for so long, and now... I'm taking it back in my hands. We have our lighters, which you guys will see, and uh, got to love them, guys. So with that said, let's jump right in. I had, first of all, I'd like to say something. I hope everybody had a great week last uh, week. I had a great, great weekend. I had my mom's 91st Mm. birthday. That was fun. And what I did was, just to let a lot of people know it and like what I did, what I did was, oh, is... I took my mom, I got the RV out, which is, you know, I have this big RV that I use for the business, uh, for, for YouTube and and podcasting and, and going places. And uh, so, because we are scheduling a trip soon this year uh, for go out into the, do content, right, Nick, on the road. That's what I want to yeah, do. I'm down. Uh, so what we're doing also, people, is, uh, so I took my mom. She's 91. She is 91. She was 91 yesterday out, actually March 10th. And I was born 1933, and I took her, and she could smoke in my RV. My mom smokes a pack of cigarettes a day. She's been doing that for 70-plus years. And eats, listen, she's a miracle. I love my mother. Uh, anyway, so what I did was I took her in the RV with my sister and her husband, Nick as well. I drove, and my mom was in the right passenger seat with the big window, and we took her all over Brevard and Indian River County the pretty much. window. The fixed window on the RV. And uh, we had such a good time. Uh, it was a long day for me. We actually left my house about 12, 12, 15. We didn't get back till 8 o'clock at night. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you drove for a uh, six very, hours. very yeah. long time. Yeah. And, you know, you got to be on your cues and tees. You got your mother telling you what to do. That was, was awesome. funny. <laughs> yeah. <It's great. laughs> you I like it. Like, you know how it feels now, <laughs> don't you? They're like, watch out for the slippery roads. You're like, it's dry. It hasn't even rained. I was like, how does it feel? It's oh my great, God, she was something, my mom. But <laughs> we did have fun, and, it was, and a lot of people. So if you're even a little older, your parents are getting a little older, even if you do it in a car, you don't have to do it in an RV. Mm. Just taking your parents and spending some time with them or your mom or dad, and if you're older like me and have an elderly, take them out for the day. I ended up buying her liver and onions, yeah. Oh, my God. I wouldn't eat that in prison. Liver, well, maybe I would, you but li- <laughs> liver and onions. So that was pretty wild. I, of course, I had a patty melt. Uh, but it was really good, and we had a great time. My sister had a few beers then after our done, and it was a, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. You had fun? Oh yeah, it was way better than I thought it was gonna be. It was cool. Well, it was you so were like, like being a little tour guide, like and over here to the yeah. light, guys. It was the best. Uh. I was telling my and mom, I was like looking around, like is he being for real? And they're like, I don't know. And I was like, I guess he is. You know? uh, well, you know, so uh, everything you said to me was for facts, allegedly. You know, allegedly facts, allegedly for facts. I love the internet. And then what I did was I actually saw my buddy Dennis, and he surprised my mom with roses and and, and a balloon. Which was pretty cool. I mean, a lot, the whole thing was pretty cool, I thought. I mean, the whole day went really work, worked out well. So we did that. That was on the weekend. But the day before that, Nick went skydiving. Yes, oh, yeah, he did. did. He went skydiving from 14,000 feet, I think it was. You I don't know. That's what they said. I think it was 14? It was, yeah. It, it had to be 18? No, it wasn't 18. It was 14,000, I huh. think. 14 I or 15. I went 18 once. You I might know. This wasn't but definitely this over was 15. 18. It no. wasn't. Maybe I've never been. I don't know. And I didn't go, and I'm glad, because when I saw them coming in, I'm not you hurting totally my back, guys, went. man. I don't go. know if you ever went to oh, uh, you're uh, stuff. Go. But I also went, we went with a friend of mine, Mark, from New York. You've seen him on the show. It was his birthday. We went with Cabby Bob, who's a, a, who's a fan, and he's a guest of the show and a good friend. So we went with Bob, myself, I, I didn't go. Nick, uh, Mark, and another friend's daughter, which is Nick's age. She's 21. Nick, Nick a matter of fact. Right, right. Yeah. It was and, very confusing and, and very went. weird. So it was cool. And we had a big day that day. 
And that was a lot of fun, actually, you know. It was fun. Two fun you know, days, yeah. I asked them if I can go, but here's what they said. Well, they put me on the scale, and I was 245. That German could have went. The yeah, German that totally. lady went. Because the, what they said was, hold on, because they would have let you went, or they would have let you go. But the way they pack the shoots have to be very specific per weight. So the person, which was the German man, wasn't there at the time. And they're like, the guy who packs the shoot isn't here. Oh, is that what they said? Yeah, they said that. the way the shoots are packed, we can't let you go because he's not here. The person who, because he has a license to pack a, that type of shoot, a big shoot. Yeah, and that's they why need a big kept, shoot with me. That's why he kept telling you that we're going to have a very big shoot, so we can't come in flying. You know, he was like, you're going to come in fast. Or you, you, you kept telling him you were going to go fast. He was like, no, the shoot we're going to take, the way you pack it and the how big it is you're not going to go that fast well whatever it was you know that's a tandem thing i'm 245 he's two t- something man you better have a 500 pound two. shoot he's all right <laughs> anyway so i thought it's pretty cool watching these people and a lot of foreigners too one of those army shoots oh yeah yeah i look like a gi joe <laughs> yeah. shit when i was a kid then you land on your butt oh Bam. my god no, like why is everyone it. breaking their their oh, spines bringing their ankles yeah, and everything. Like, i don't know because you're teaching them how to land they on had a lot ass. of people who did who did yeah. get in trouble like during world war ii that's because they weren't teaching them right they were sending them down with those army shoots and they couldn't come in you know all they could do was fall Listen, back in those butt. days they <laughs> yeah. didn't give you no training no. just jump they just and they don't even not with you. somebody yeah they'd pull it right for oh you. no yeah they have yeah. a static line actually yeah. you run into like end. good luck bud yeah you'll make it and, and you like, no why do we have to keep paying out for broken tailbones tailbones like, i don't know people died i'm sure <laughs> yeah, you dude, know what i mean sure. whatever happened but uh so that was pretty wild so it was pretty cool to watch it was down here in sebastian's flight uh, skydiving school i don't know the name of it i might uh, do you remember it? No. It was I pretty might good, though. mess around. Was it? And get a license. To do what? <clears throat> I'm not going up with you either, Nick. No, I'm talking about <laughs> just me jumping solo. Uh, do you want to do that? Is that something you want to do? Is that something yeah, like... it's only 1300 bucks. The only reason I didn't do it in Missouri was because I had to drive two hours to go skydiving. Yeah, but is it something you think you're going to do a lot? I mean, don't you think it's, it would get it's old? It's 15 minutes away, and no. <laughs> and it's more than about 30, but forget 30. Forget the minutes away. No, minutes. I don't think it would get old. You don't think no. that would get old? No. Wow, I've done Literally, a lot of things, and they all get old. I could go anywhere I wanted to, and here's the thing. When you have your license... I can go to any of those and be like, here's my license, and, and they just, just charge me gas, and then like a little tip fee. No, they have to charge something. They charge me gas and a tip fee because it's a community. So you go up, and they, they, are a community. And they I know agree. that I'm going to take care of you yeah, because yeah. you took me up. But no, they're not going to charge me $400 to go. Well, I'll you had them, the camera guy. I'll tip them 50 bucks. Did you, you know? have a look at the videos? No. We got them. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I got to try them. I can't get them on my phone. I have to try it on the computer. You download them to the Yeah, player. I tried again this morning, and it just it doesn't, they don't click. You know, I can't click them. Well, you got to call them then and get, you know, before Well, no, something. I'll try the computer, but then, yeah, I'll yeah, call them for sure. Absolutely. There's a lot footage. of money paid for that. Oh. You know? So, I mean, but anyway, that's what we did, which is pretty cool, actually. You know, I, I actually had a good time. It was kind of a getaway. You uh, might fall into the, the same hole as all the other times I went skydiving, and there's no footage to be found, even though I have... All no, it better somewhere. not. It better not. But no, we had a good time, and and I actually had a good time just hanging out, having a few beers with friends, and then yeah, you brought the RV down. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So we did have a good time, and with that said, we had such a good time. Now that was our weekend. I hope you guys had a good weekend as well. Uh, I'm sure I should have Bobby and Mark on who did it for the first time. And Bobby was his second time. Bobby second, but yeah. Mark uh, to have him come on. Mark's living his best life right now. I man, he's loving it, man. I love yeah. him, too, man. He's Shout a great out. guy. Shout out, Mark. Mark is a great guy. Well, everybody, so now let me get here where I really wanted to get on this show and start talking about prison. Two things. One, we had a big meeting today, so we're going to start really humping on better content, better better stuff on prisons. A couple other ideas I have in my head. I'm going to run them by Nick now, uh, and we'll see if they work. I'm getting more involved myself. I know I'm pulled all over the place, but I think I like that to a degree. It keeps me busy. That keeps me from going insane, I always say. And no matter what happens to me, I always say, you know what? I was in prison. How bad could it get? I always look at it like that, Nick. So, And that's my regard with that. So now... Who's your we, first cellmate? Who's my first In cell- prison. Oh, prison. A guy named... Oh, wow. The first one I still remember. How's that? Yeah, yeah. In prison. Was Lee Sharrow. Lee. 
Lee? I'm out. Was he Asian? That. No, no. His name first name was Lee. He's, he's, a, he, he's a white guy. Killed a man with an axe handle. Oh, that's him. On a yeah, that's pen- a good guy. That's a good oh, guy. He's a great guy. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> I know. I always. So, say did that. you instantly get along with him? Uh, you him? Yeah, yeah, you know, pretty much. Like, you know, first of all, back in those days, you didn't, you you picked your own cell. It wasn't, really? Yeah. Well, the guards didn't get it. They, you'd go into units. They go find. Oh, a bed. really? You just went in with your little bundle and you're like, hey, can we spend the night together? Well, no. People are looking at you. They're all looking on the tears and. You know, that if you're a white guy. That is way more intimidating than having yeah. a signed seat. Well, because if they, you know, <laughs> what happens shit. if they assign you to a, a person who, maybe you're a white guy and you don't go with black guys, maybe you're a Hispanic and you don't go with black, whatever. Uh, I, they don't do that in all prisons, uh, they, but those were maximum security prisons back when I was yeah. in. As a matter of fact, people said, well, you were in Atlanta. I said, yeah, go look on the website. I mean, I'm literally on there. Uh, they were like, the how no- do we log into the computer? The notable. You were image. really above the the others using the computer. Well, I didn't use the computer. I thought that's how you had to pull paperwork. No, no, no. Wait, I no, to... there was no computers then. Not what Holy hell, how were you doing this? First of all, there were computers just starting. Oh, so there was. No, we didn't have computers. We never had, and to this day, didn't oh, have computers. Oh, you didn't have? No, Damn. no, no, no. Prisons you have... have computers. Yeah, not for the inmates. Yes, they do. No, they don't. You think you can go surf the web? I think you Unless can you have some, a phone I now, think you can, in, in, I think you can yourself. FaceTime people yeah. only if you have a phone illegally no, in yourself. Wrong, that is wrong. I just watched a whole thing on it yesterday, so I do know you are wrong. They are letting people FaceTime with iPads instead. You well, know the booths; they have iPads now. Uh, you can FaceTime. Okay, so yeah, and I stuff, got that. And no, you can no, use but there's specific not websites. Where you can go surf the web. You uh, cannot go in there and that. say, "You know, the Google search." No, you can't do it. Then. Well, uh, even to this day, the I guy said they don't. Check. Now, do they do it illegally? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Back in my day, they didn't. First of all, you didn't have that. My they day, it, it, was, it was a whole different They're giving game. them TVs now. Portable TVs. Not in the feds. Zero. Oh. See, I don't Still. know the difference between feds oh, yeah. and the county. There's this, listen, there's 50 states. So that means there's 50 ways, state so prisons. So with 50 state prisons, a lot of things are going to be done you know, differently. Obviously, the feds is the biggest prison system in the United States and the biggest prison system in the world. Right there. Uh, yes, the United States Department of Corrections, Federal off Bureau of Prisons. What? I said, you think someone's getting some off the top? Man, you think, man, it's so corrupt, man. <laughs> it's so corrupt. You know, I used to get, I used to get so mad in prison at the corruption. Then I, you know, I had to sit back and think, wait a minute, Larry. I was the one who used to corrupt so politicians. And, 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 and I, I did that myself, so I get it. Uh, but I got to say this, even though when I did corrupt, people i never had them do the wrong thing okay meaning if i had a politician in my pocket i made sure that the community was done right so you know what i mean the yeah, money yeah, wasn't yeah. taken away from that's kids. good corruption for, for, that's yeah. all right you know yeah. what i meant there's so no, much I waste that. anyway you're, right. you're good it's not like you're throwing not gonna... block parties for the kids to right. not snitch on you that's good you were giving back to the community oh i was a good do i think community. that these senators are giving back to me no i've never had a block party thrown for me not once no, no. what i did was a little different like <laughs> i uh I literally, you know, even when I did got help people get in office, I would say, listen, just do the right thing. So first. if you guys want me to vote for me, a nice little block party would probably you, get my vote. I, I, you have Free to, hot dogs and hamburgers. If you could name me three <laughs> Supreme Court justices. All right, so back to what we were doing. <laughs> I was going to say, was, you can run for How president. did you pick your cellmate if you had to pick him? Well, the walk. first thing you did was when you walk in to the unit. First of all, I was in the hole for a while. Because you had to go to captain's review. Because you had to... The, every time you switched, it was by force. It wasn't like a... Like you did another something prison? wrong. Yeah, you did uh, something either wrong. Either all my points dropped, but then when, once my points dropped... But mostly it was you were doing... You yeah, were I, I was bad. So they, And at the end, I wasn't even bad. It's just that they wanted to screw with me. But towards the beginning, picking your first cellmate, you had to just go in and just... Well, well what happened was I walked talk. into the... No, you walk into the cell, you know, now... The people in the prison, if there's like, I think there was 160 buds in our units, the front half and the back half, something like, I'm not even exact sure numbers. Uh, It was close, uh, but you'd walk in and everybody be on the tier in the second tier, first tier, and they'd be looking at you. And now you walk in, now you check in at the guard station at the thing. And then the guard will go, uh, go look for cells. Cells, ba, 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 ba. There's empty bunks in them. No, just empty bunks in them. Now, they know that. Everybody on the floor knows, oh, man, if there's only X amount of beds and I got to fill them all, I want to get the person I want in my cell. 
Oh, so they come recruit you? Yeah, they came and recruited oh. me. Well, they first asked. Hey, that makes want- sense too, because I wouldn't want someone coming up to me being like, yeah, "Can I, I sleep with I'm you?" I'm your no. new celly. Yeah, no, you have gonna, to take it. I mean, it's not. Yeah. I mean, but you're gonna go get yours first. If the guard has that to issue sense. that bunk, yeah, then he's gonna just do it. That makes sense. That's smart. I'd rather go find my celly than someone come knock on the door. What would happen was the guys would sit up there, they'd see you, maybe they heard you go in the hole, you were coming to A one by somebody or. You know, I I said, hey, anybody know where Vic Arena is? Vic is the, a mob boss that, you know, I dealt with. So they know I know him. Hey, where are you from? He, I'm talking about the time so he's not involved. You have no one that knows you. Is oh, sure, anybody. Well, what's going to happen? You know, Somebody's going to hear. I know the times you're like, oh, I got cred. But was there ever a time that you had to sure, walk in mo- and be most like, the time he's been establish in. yourself to oh, be like, I'm, yeah, I'm, but, I'm know, okay, guys. Yeah, but what happens is once you walk into the prison, and you go in most places, they assign you a cell. But even yeah. if they assign you a cell, I might not want to be there. So the next day, I'm moving. And I'm and you moving. You just o- decide to move. Well, I, I was a little bit ballsy and I knew how to work the system. Oh. So, I mean, it wasn't like, oh, no, I'm not in charge. Don't let anybody think that. You know, no, you're not in charge. And we all knew that. But I was a convict, and people who, who are convicts, other people know that. And they're going to come up to you later and say, man, why are you with him, man? Go, they, they, this guy's leaving tonight. He's going. Tell him you want to be in that cell mm. tomorrow. You know, and, and I'll be your cell. You know, all right, law, yeah, yeah. And then you're already telling the counselor, like, man, so I, I didn't know, get along the, with that guy last night. I don't want to kill and him. And they, they, ha- they have an ob- uh, obligation to just be like, okay. We'll, we'll no, that. no, no, but they will. They don't want yeah. trouble. Yeah. You know, in penitentiaries, the guards used to tell me, listen, a good day is if nobody got killed and nobody escaped. That's a good day. So they used or to... Stabbed, upgrade, you know, well, stabbing. You know, they didn't care as long as it wasn't them. So the problem was, you know, they they want as least problems as you can get. You know what I mean, Nick? Mm-hmm. So, and I get that part of it. So, yeah, so that... Not obligation, but they... It was easier if they were just like, all right, if you're going to get along and behave, go over there. They don't even say that. We're all men. I'm a 35-year-old I'm saying, man. but like it's insinuating. I didn't... See, you think way too technical. You need to get the lawyer out of you. Like, what no one would have ever imagined that two grown men were going to have that conversation. I think they would. No, it was just kind of insinuating that the guard was in his mind. Like, okay, go over there. It's less paperwork if you behave. Yeah, that's pretty it's much literally what, they what exactly. Listen, at least you know. Let's let's face it. They don't want to work. So what they would do to you is say, uh, but two grown that, men in Atlanta, the first prison. Now this you oh, got to no. remember. This is back in ninety seven. I went in in 96. My first permanent prison was USP Atlanta. And when I went to USP Atlanta, it was the worst prison in the country. I even had the, a warden named Willie Scott, who was a troubleshoot warden. But what they would do is that when you walked into that u- housing unit, and you, you know, you have 10 guys might walk in at once, or eight guys, or seven, whatever come in. They, they don't release you when they, they release you when they want at a group, and that's it. So you go into your unit and you walk up to the desk. The guard tells you that. But already guys are looking at you and they might hear you talk somewhere because your yeah. accent. They say, mm-hmm. hey, where are you from? Start talking well, especially to you. you. Yeah, I mean, accent. Exactly. But no, everybody has one. I mean, no matter where you go around the country. Yeah. So what would happen is you start talking to someone. They'd say, well, you know, nobody asks too much, but they you get a read of what people do or did yeah. and who they know. And, and then all of a sudden you're saying, yeah, yeah I just came because from here. You guys are talking in the same way, using the same words. Kind, you know, they know yeah. you're not a rookie, number one. But not only that, they like you realize. Know words, like you know words that if you were a rookie, you wouldn't know. Oh, yeah. Like oh, burner yeah. and different words uh, for stingers or and yeah, stuff. Something yeah. like that. You know, so certain, people would know you're kind of. Yeah, but it's not even just knowing. It's the way you handle yourself, the way you're looking, the way you're acting, the way you're keeping exactly. an eye on things. It's 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 really a a, a whole yeah, they know. feeling. They can tell. And the guy come up to me and say, hey, what's your top? And they start talking. And, they, and then he goes, hey, hey, I got someone in my cell. You want to come on in? I said, yeah. You, and that was him, Lee. Lee was a good dude, man. He used to get fucked up with Lee. Lee was. Really, really good dude, man. I ended up going to the hole for something and then ended up going to get in a celly in the front of you named Dave. He was a fun, crazy guy. Those are the first two cellies I had that I remember Dave? really good. Dave, yeah. Not my brother. No, 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 no Dave. Just you know, the guy, I don't want to mention his last name. Yeah. But the uh, And he was a pretty crazy kid, man. He went nuts. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, so we had that. So was prison, it in the hole? No, 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 no. This was in the unit. This is in A1. Mm-hmm. I was in A1. Well, tell me. A1? Tell me what happened. 
He, no, no, he was just so funny. He used His to get this Jonathan. sugar for us because uh, we all had jobs to get the sugar to make the wine and then white lightning. He used to, we, he used to get sugar, so he used to steal it from the kitchen. And he, he wore size 14 shoes, the biggest they had. And he had He's about a, a size guy. 10 foot. Oh. No. And he would put, put sugar in oh, front of the shoes. Oh, that's awesome. He yeah. looked like Bozo, I used to call him. He used to come back. Because he, he had to get through yeah. the metal detectors. And that's they awesome. don't really give a shit. And they only yeah. get to keep it if they catch you with it. Yeah. But he would bring that back every morning. He'd go twice. He'd fill it up with packets and then fill bowls up. To get his wine at the weekend. That was his hustle. Yeah. You know, to get the sugar. He was getting drunk. Yeah. He's oh, like, I yeah, got the yeah. sugar, guys. You gotta and get... If anyone steps on my my clown hustle, I'm going to beat your ass. No, too. no. I mean, we laughed. I mean, he was yeah. funny as hell, Dave. So uh, we had a good time. I mean, listen, I always say there were as many bad times as there are in prison. There are, there are probably good times. And when I say good times, Nick, I don't mean like, but bearable. They make things happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Make it change. No, that's a, change. stop being a lawyer and tell us. The I'm telling good times. You. They can be good times in prison. Oh, I told you all the yeah. acid times yeah. and all that. But what I wanted to say, it, I, I'm getting back on this prison thing, and I know some people, some like it, some don't. I just got, I was reading comments. You're going to see me start answering the comments. That's something I'm taking away from Nick and, and anybody. Good. I'm going to be answering good, comments good. in YouTube and uh, some of the social platforms uh, from TikTok to Instagram, but... Uh, you listen, I'm going to answer every day or do something every day on it, on both of them, and I'll figure out how to do it. It'll probably become second nature to me just to hang Within out. Within a day. A two. You know, you just do it, and yeah, you start liking it. I'm going to. So, and I'll the, even pull them from that page. No, you you don't, I told you, so you don't, don't argue. You're not going to do any on well, it. Well, what about the reposts? Listen. You can't just post to. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Hey, you so now, that. anyway, we let's go. I, since I've been on this corrections kick. I mean, I'm talking about the DOJ, that's the Department of Justice, reports highlights problems with gang activity, unsafe conditions in three Mississippi prisons. That is just on that end. The Department of Justice said the Mississippi Department of Corrections does not have enough staff to supervise the prison population. I love this when the BOP is the same way. With job vacancy rates, listen to this, 30 to 50%. Man, you think they need jobs, man? I mean, you know, they just pay crap and everything else that goes along with that. So what happens when, like, nobody wants to work? Well, they, they, you know, it's things are getting like close. an alarming rate. Well, they're going to have to do something. They have to pay more, and they're going to have to, you know, give incentives to stay, bonuses, in earlier Where does retirement. Where money come from? Uh, well, <laughs> taxes from the people. I mean, eventually it does. That's exactly how all money comes. If you can't afford something, what do you do? You raise taxes. It's a shame because mm. it's, it's something that, to me, is just a terrible Didn't we trouble. just lose billions of dollars that went, like, up in the air? No With what? Way. Just accounting this year. To the Listen, wars. Like, we've we couldn't lost, find how, many, lost how much war money, money has and, the wars cost already? Yeah. You know? Even lost war money. I mean, uh, money like, is... Oh, just, look, 17 jets this year went missing. Huh. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, that's just... That's the part of... Uh, of, of uh, you know, the Department of Defense, and that's why we keep the, the, the lanes. Oh, you love touching that thing. You you have some it obsession sucks. with it that. It's, it's all loose and broke. Yeah, and you, you did that. Well, just, we, you know, somebody took it apart and then put no washers back on that it. Was you and that yeah, was you. Yeah, that was you and your buddy. So let's go sublime. back. <laughs> let's go back. You brought you. Steve Jackson, brought Mississippi, up. gangs, violence, and sexual assaults are a problem in three Mississippi prisons because the facilities are short staffed. And inmates are sometimes left unsupervised, the U.S. Department of Justice said in a report Wednesday. The department said the state failed to protect inmate safety, control contraband, or investigate harm and misconduct. So far, the biggest problem I have with this whole entire two paragraphs is the BOP, which is the Department of Justice, federal, same government, has all of that happened to itself right now, and now they're judging three Mississippi prisons. Fix your own house. You know, I don't get that. I mean, mm. they can't, and they're telling other people what to do. Mm. And that's wrong. Obviously, the Inspector General, or the, 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 the it's called the OIG, Office of Inspector General, who oversees all the, the departments in the federal government, reports already that the BOP is so mismanaged and, and understaffed and 
some prisons don't have people where they let people out. And they're out. just stepping on everyone else, being well, like, hey, uh, look at what they're doing and not yeah. us. No, I mean, can you believe yeah. this stuff that came out? <laughs> they're like, hey, whistleblower, whistleblower, look how bad they're doing over here. These basic safety failures. It's kind of like, it's kinda the, like cancel culture when you like point out, you know, uh, a, a politician over here, they got caught with something when really something over here is going on. Listen, or like a comedian that said something about a race when something far, over here is going on. As if you look, what you're saying, Nick, is as far as the history of this country goes. No, I'm saying it's you know, normal. Gonna, yeah. nah, but that's going to be it's nobody wants to point about. out what they do wrong. I mean, obviously, and that's just the way it's going to be. But the prison system is a big failure to begin with. It's a failure from the get go because the laws are wrong. The law is wrong. When you're putting people in prison for non-violent offenses, there's better ways to uh, uh, get justice for what happened, whether it's community service, whether it's painting trains, whether it's donating money and time and resources, what you have. Just like when Michael Vick, the guy with the dogs, you know you, you know who Michael Vick was, the, the football player who was fighting dogs? Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. They put him in jail. That was the biggest waste of money in the in the world. Well, well it was his friends fighting dogs on his property. Right. But yeah. why so put him in jail? Was. Why don't you say, listen, now you got to go to animal rights place. You got to speak at these facilities. You know, make their, their punishment more aligned with, yeah, yeah, with helping others. Yeah. And just jail, it's nothing good. Why are you taking him off the street? Is he, is he going to people's houses and making them do dog fights? Of course not. <laughs> So that's the problem I have with a lot of that. There's, there could be a lot more creative ways to enact justice than to just throw people in prison because we know it doesn't work. It's the biggest failed system in the world. It is the worst in the world, and we should take note to that and stop being some bullshit best government in the world when we incarcerate our own people at an alarming rate. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm going to get canceled for that one, but that's the truth. I still believe in justice, so I don't believe you should be able to pick on people or you shouldn't be able to, you know, do crime. Like me, I deserve to go to prison. But does somebody who does a child molest deserve to get two years when I get fucking four 12-year no. sentences? Irene had a tough time with that one. Mm. She, she had a tough time with that one. My mom did. Anyway, watch this. Ha. Ah. The department investigated Central Mississippi Correctional Facility, South Mississippi Correctional Facility, and Wilkinson County Correctional Facility. The new report says the condition in those three prisons are similar to problems that the department reported in 2022 at Mississippi State Penitentiary in Parchment. That's a big prison. People do not surrender their constitutional rights at the jailhouse door. Wow, that's bullshit. Boy, whoever wrote that, I, I like what you wrote, but if that's the truth... Man, I'm out of prison and I still relinquish my rights. I can't have a gun. Second Amendment. That's my constitutional right. I feel like you could fill out some paperwork. No, you no. fill out paperwork. Look what happened. To, uh, no, not Kodak that, Black. Not that paperwork. I'm talking about like uh, like pardon paperwork. A pardon? Yeah. yeah I think I you have enough credits that you could. I'd love to try, but it's more than just paperwork. You got to yeah. know somebody. You know what I mean, I think you know some people. I might. Maybe. You know, might be, you're right. Maybe there's an attorney I, think, I might yeah. know. Somebody Depends. knows someone. Kristen yeah. Clark, the department's assistant attorney general for civil rights, said during a conference, Mississippi Department of Corrections spokesman Kate Head said in response to the Justice Department report that the state prison system has worked tirelessly to increase staffing through pay increases and other measures, including streamlining the hiring process. Did you know, and this is fact, in California there is a law that minimum wage for a fast food place is $20 an hour, right? That's in California. Did you know that is higher pay than most pr state prison uh, officers get? Think of that. Yeah. I mean, you're going to go put yourself in harm's way instead of you can be a McDonald's French fry fryer and make more money than you do in a, in a uh, prison, which is crazy. And you don't even have to perform well at McDonald's. It is, isn't that the truth, man? <laughs> that went down. We talked about that. We should talk about a whole food thing. Yeah. Uh, we're grateful for for the often thankless work of the men and women of uh, Mississippi Department of Correction, and we look forward to continuing our effort to recruit additional staff, head, state, and department. While we disagree with the findings, we will work with the Department of Justice to identify possible resolutions to enhance the inmate safety. The first thing I would do 
is if that if I was that lady, I'd say, listen, go take a flying leap until you clean up the BRP. Don't tell me how to run things because you can't even run your own house. I mean, that's just me. That's why I'm not running a state. And then you would be found in a bathtub, face down. You're probably right. That that that's one you might get get whacked with. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. Let me tell you. So now I wanted to do something different today. I went on and I wanted to do prison slang for people. Some words that I think might touch you in some way or not. And what does it mean? What does backdoor parole mean? This is going to be good. Are you paying with your ass to a guard? Mm -mm. No. Backdoor parole. Are you snitching? Snitching mm -hmm. or are you paying nope. with your ass to you get die out? die in prison. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Dude, you got backdoor parole, man. You could have went along a little bit. I could have. Those are pretty good. Those are pretty, you know, you got some. We'll get some there. I am sure. Bit, and those are some pretty good uh, ideas. If someone says, man, I got all day. What does that mean? You're not getting out? Yeah, good one. Uh, you got a life sentence. Sounds normal. Uh, I, I didn't know this one myself. You know what bats are? Bats? Um... Would it be anything related to a message? No, it's cigarettes. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I guess. I mean, you know. Yeah. Uh, what a bean slot. I call Cigarettes, it. bats. What were the other words for cigarettes you knew? Cigs, uh, what? You didn't know other words? Cigs? Cigs? Uh -oh. I never smoked cigarettes. No right? keywords? No. I never smoked cigarettes. Well, there goes that. that okay, I tried. <laughs> I tried. So. What does a bean what? slot mean? A bean slot? Your message? I don't know. Ah, message. the bean slots, they're opening in a cell door where food is delivered. You know, yeah, I, I call it the food slot. I, I, that's exactly what I was thinking of. That's what I call sure, it. Yeah. I call it the food slot, bean slot. I've heard that, though. Uh, a bid? What bean is a bid? Bean slot. That is disgusting. What is a bid? You know? A bid is how long you serve. In prison, right? Yeah. Prison sentence. What's your yeah. sentence? Uh, big bitch. <laughs> what? That is wild. You got the big bitch, man. <laughs> are you calling someone that, or is it just what's That's going on? Fine word, big you, bitch. Tell me, are you calling? What's the or what's the origin? Are you calling? Man, I got big bitch. You got big bitch. Uh, big uh, time or death sentence. A di oh, yeah. That, doesn't, that sounds a little too good to be the death sentence. Big bitch. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. What were what were other death sentence words? Come on, well, let's slow this down. A little. Life. Life. Oh, 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 oh. Let's slow just, this down. Just a death. Sure. You know what I mean? Death. Well, well, in in the feds, there's only one place where they kill you. It's called Terre Haute, Indiana. It's where the where the electric chair is, or the gas chamber now, whatever it is. They're not shooting people. Or, or no, I, people. there is one or two states that still have firing squads. Still, and they can do public hanging still. Uh, they can. They can Here? do anything they yeah. want. Let's face it. That'd be you know? wild. Timmy, come on. Oh, come on. Let's go see. The, get yeah. the popcorn. Timmy, remember when you stole those two cookies yesterday? I got something to show yeah. you. What this is what's going to happen. You keep and guess that what? going. Was crime down back then? <laughs> Probably not. What's brake fluid? You might notice. Brake fluid? Yeah. Is it a that drug? That dude's or on brake fluid, man. So it's a drug. Is it? It's not, it's not alcohol. It's a drug? Right. It's so, psychedelic drug. Oh, okay. You know, like psych You could let me drug. guess, but. Yeah, okay. Okay. Huh. I guess that's the price. Okay, <laughs> what is a a bunky or celly? That's your roommate, right? Sell me, yeah. yeah. What's a bug? A bug? Is it a rat or person like, can't be trusted? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. What's Someone, a bullet? A bullet? Yeah, this one. A bullet? Is it a message? No. No. Is it? I don't know. A one year sentence, a real quick oh, I sentence. I never yeah. got that. Yeah. No. This one you might get. What's a burner? A gun or a shank? It's a shank in there. No, no. A burner, a phone? Cell phone. A phone, yeah. Yeah, you Because you burn. have a burner phone. Yeah, that's And then exactly. there's a burner gun. So I thought maybe a burner would have been a shank in there. No, no. But yeah, a burner cell phone is a normal. You know what burpee do. is? It's a workout routine, right? It's it's yeah. a, it's it's an exercise. Now, problem. is that a, like a prison workout routine? Well, I mean, I, I've I've never seen them outside a burp. I've never seen the burpee routines done outside. But do you watch workout videos? I've seen a few. Okay. I mean, but I very rarely you see that whole work, especially where we did it. Never that a Cadillac, uh, radio. 
converter, a uh, battery. What is it, it could be an inmate's bunk. That's where, you know, it's Cadillac. Really? Or coffee with cream and sugar. I never heard of that like that. Oh, the bunk is coffee with cream and sugar? Or is this a new word? Are we moving on? What's going on? No, these are all just... Uh, no, I'm slang. saying, is that coffee with cream and sugar? Is it the bunk? The same no, thing that's as Cadillac. Cadillac. Yeah, the oh. same word also refers to an inmate's bunk. So coffee with cream and sugar. Is a Cadillac. That's some, you know, you know, so Hey, man, you're going to there? Get me a Cadillac. I'm going to my coffee and creamer and sugar? That's just saying you want no, to go they, to bed? You, you, no, you'd be, you would say, man, he's got a Cadillac. Like he's holding a cup. It's a, it's a coffee with the works, really. Sugar okay, and cream what and I was asking was Cadillac and that is different. Oh, you mean with the the bunk? You mean? Oh my God, yes. Oh yes. Okay, I mean, that they, was the question. You made it seem like it was the same word. That's why I was getting so confused. I was you like, know what this? Who means. is calling their bunk a, a coffee? No, somebody a, a yeah, Cadillac. They're two it's different not, words. Was right, the right. question? Yes. No, it's Cadillac. It's two different meanings. Oh my fucking god! Yes, that was the question. Okay. <laughs> I'm just being we'll, nice. We'll cut that. We'll cut all that. No, that you was... ain't, man. Don't ever. You can't do it. All right, you ready? Insane. What is court letters? Oh, that's when, yeah, that is when you get that on your, your uh, uniform and then you have to serve a certain amount of time. Life. It means yeah. life. Letters is life. Just think of letters. Like R? No, L-I-F-E. They actually oh, I thought you got that, like an R. No, for, no, no. In your prison oh. jacket, not your... Oh, you probably always thought when I say jacket, I meant like a jacket. No, your prison jacket is your, your record. And in your records, it has the literally the oh, words. Oh, no one's walking around no. with stuff on their thing. No, but it actually oh, means I life. Had like, on. You, if you caught letters, that means you got a life sentence. Not me. And the feds do no, not have I'd parole. Be I'd be dead. So... I'd be dead. Oh, that. you're gonna love Look this. A you. cell warrior. You know that one. A little guy. I talked about that when I had the issue with a guy. A little guy? I call him a door warrior or a cell warrior. Oh, just beating on the door or something? Yeah, uh, it's an inmate who acts tough when yeah, locked in his cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is a coward face to face. A troll. Yeah. <laughs> little trolls out here. These fucking cell trolls. You know what chow is? Yeah, food. Yeah. CO. Uh yeah, a correctional officer. There you go, a cowboy. Mm, is so, that when you drop the soap? You have to. No, it's a new correctional officer. Like he's a he's a cowboy. He's, he's not doing nothing. Yeah, he's new. Okay. He's, he's he's trying to show his muscles. He's a cowboy. He's an ass. A dime. Is that referring to a sack of drugs? Sentence. Oh, ten years. Ten years. I was thinking maybe a ten sack of drugs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I don't know yeah. Doing the Dutch I did hear of this Whoa, Slow down buddy Not yet <laughs> Not yet Doing the Dutch It's only going to dirty things What is it Committing suicide Oh see, I've yeah. seen people Good thing that. I didn't go Where I was gonna go with that <laughs> No I don't Man. like that Doing the Dutch is not a good word for that You, you know what Why is it Dutch What's Dutch mean I don't know so I'm you've not, never uh, heard that? No, I've heard that saying. Oh, but you don't know what it, why no. it means that? Oh, okay. I thought you were You're a dump things. truck. I got ass. I got no, a big, fat, fat ass. lazy slob. No, I got a, <laughs> a, a big, fat ass. Okay, what is a <laughs> fiend? Like, you probably don't want to say that in prison, but... <laughs> what is a fiend? Uh, a fiend? Or a fiend, like a drug addict who needs eh, their a fix? A drug addict, yeah. right? What's a fish? A fish? Uh, someone who mules drugs. No, he's a person who's never been in prison before. A fish. He's a fish. Brand a little new guppy. fish. A little guppy. Yeah. Fish. A new inmate who's never been in prison a before. Tadpole. I didn't know what this one was. Fifty-one fifty means crazy. Mm. And yeah. is that just for paperwork? Uh, I don't. I I, I couldn't tell because I've never heard it. Mm. And I'll tell if I heard it. Fresh meat. Or that one. Is that for the showers or is that shower? No, slang? fresh meat is, is just a bunch of people slang? coming in. There's uh, a new, a whole bunch of fresh meat coming so it's in. It's not like so soap slang or no, 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 no. shower slang. What's okay. getting buzzed? Buzzed? I'm getting fucked up. No. What? Close. Get drunk? I don't know. Tattooed. Oh, that's stupid. Getting buzzed. It makes yeah. sense. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. All right. Uh, you could just haircuts or. What's getting a green light? 
uh, you know, uh, an okay. Oh, it's something. getting the green light to kill someone on site. Like, uh, yeah. you know, you got to okay. hit on someone like that. I got that right. It goes, I think I'm uh, three. I got three wrong. Who I has the I keys? Have, right. I said, who has the keys? Is that stamps or is that drugs? It's a connection of something. No, it's the guy who's the shot caller. Who's the one running that, that, that con- group, yeah, that gang? Connection. You know, he got the keys, man. A person who controls or calls the shots. Uh, a ho check, a ho check. People are saying you've heard this. Yeah, you've oh, yeah. heard this before. A ho check. Uh, is it like a, a shakedown? No, it's something like, uh, or a bunch of guys are going to check to someone see if he's got the balls to defend a himself. Check. You know, makes total sense. Yeah. <laughs> these bit, they're bitching. Bitch you. Is a you're bitching you. Yeah, the hole. You. you know what that yeah. is? <laughs> a ho check. That's amazing. Okay, hot water. Guards? No, it's like a scream out. Someone might say that a guard's coming down to tear. I just said that guards. Oh, guards! No, but so coming you're not down listen- to tear. Yes, that's just, okay. Guards. Oh, I was okay. guards. You, you, what does that mean? It means guards. Guards are coming. Yeah, right, right. right. In other words, you're coming. at night. You know, you say that word. How that, would that, how would that not, how would that have counted as uh, any wrong? It means guards. Guards. Hot water. Guards. Yeah, the guards. Are guards. Coming. What do you call your house? Where you you know your cell? I don't your know your cell, your cell, not your cell house, not your, cell. your unit, your house. And and when I say that's my house, you don't walk in my house without knocking on the frame. Oh, the question should have been, I guess, what what what's a nickname for your cell? I could. It just says house. Yeah, cell. That makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. It makes sense. Okay, what's a Jody? Have you heard of that? A no, Jody? No, I never did. Give me a hint. A Jody is a, it has to do with a somebody oh, and a status of something. I'm going to tell you? Yeah. Uh, Jody is a man sleeping with a prisoner's wife, girlfriend on the outside. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, a Jody. It's not good. <laughs> a Jody. That's cool. A Jody. Mm-hmm. A kite. Uh, that's a message being sent. A to note, the, right? Yeah. Now, does it have to be on a string, or is a note just a kite? No, you can suitcase a kite. Like I, okay, I so did. A, night is just, a kite is just is the a note, note somewhere yeah, to yeah, somewhere. Yeah, okay. Exactly. A kite yeah, is, I thought it had to be onto a string. No, a but that's how you did it. It's contraband note written on a small piece of paper mm-hmm. passed to others through underground methods. It could be any way. Okay. You know, I thought it had it, to be yeah, a string. Could, what's a meat wagon? A meat wagon. Wow. Is this shower related? Mm-mm. We'll oh. get to those. Okay. <laughs> um. I see where your mind is, so we will get there, everybody. Uh, Nick, we know where Nick's mind is. A meat and wagon. you let me know what you guys think. Okay, some of I these think are. everyone is on the same page as me. When I'm like, I don't know, is it shower related? Hold up. A meat wagon, is it just stolen foods? No, it's an ambulance, the meat wagon. You know, oh, the, that makes sense, yeah. You know, hospital ambulance. Well, we, we used to be, they used to be like a golf cart with a slab on the back, if you want to call it that. Are you serious? Yeah, just a little wagon in a golf cart. A golf cart with, with a, a flat, wagon, a flat little thing wagon, so they yeah. could put the put a, 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 a you know like a thing. So, yeah, you know, I don't know about whatever it is. Uh, mud, coffee. I mean, I don't know if you. Yeah. I was gonna say codeine. Mud with a double and a double codeine. D. Codeine. I didn't know this. Drugs. Codeine. No, is an inmate's ass. That's disgusting. That's <laughs> absolutely disgusting. I don't know. All right. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. Are you guys writing kites with double Ds as mud? No, not me. Why? Are, why? Does I don't know. To, I didn't use that. I was I'm saying double Ds. Like, are you guys writing what? You're like mud double D. You know what an OG is? Yeah. What? An original gangster. Yeah, that's it, right? They will give it to the older inmates who have been around the system. You know what PC is? Um, PC, is it gangster related or oh, fed re- or you know it's prison related, related, but not not you know? What no, you do. I don't. It protective custody. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. a guy who checks in, he goes PC. Yeah. That's what usually not call. Not sec. No, no. Is that why King Von was pretending he was gay? Was they he? They were all like, yeah. He was like, I'm gay. They're this one's cool. Up. Okay, never mind. Let's move on. Yeah. Let's just yeah. Who's King Von? Fuck it. You know. <laughs> oh, fuck it. He's a rapper. 
I was, he in go, prison I, now? Yeah, I was gonna go all into it. Yeah. Okay, tell He's a t- rapper. Is He's, he in jail now? He was in and out of jail for murders, yeah. And there was after he was murdered, his all of his stuff got leaked out and there's footage of uh, body cams of him like acting gay just to get in PC. Oh, you mean because he was scared? Of the yeah, and all the other gangsters are like, he was just doing that, and other gangsters are like, no, no, gangster would just do that. You know, you know. Let me let me tell you where See, I have it, always really hard time saying what people do because knowing how prisons work, I've seen guys do something to get in the hole because they needed to make money. And he's money. been in and out, so and he I knows said how to, it works, to make yeah. money. Mm-hmm. You know, because what what they would do is they would put some heroin up their ass and then yeah, they'd yeah. sell it in a hole. So, I didn't know this one. A prison wolf. Mm-hmm. Listen to this. It's a heterosexual prisoner who engages in sex with men while incarcerated. So, a bisexual man. I, I would say <laughs> so, but I mean, like. know, you know. I mean, you know what pruno is. Pruno? Is that wine? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Homemade alcohol. You know what a punk is? That's uh, a gay person. A derogatory yeah. for a transsexual or homosexual or any weak individual. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, you'll see a lot of that. Man, that dude's riding leg. Big dick. No, that's a person who sucks up to the guard <laughs> to get favors. Oh. You know. But not a snitch. Is that okay? Uh, it depends. Or does it fall under the same kind no, of, like, no. we don't mess with I you? watched some guys that know how to manipulate them, and oh, that's okay. how they get the drug, yeah, you know, yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah, things. Yeah. So I wouldn't say that, per se. Uh, you know, I, it's crazy. Sex play. That doesn't sound like a code word. It just sounds it's like it's to sex verbally play. or physically communicate in a sexual manner. Okay, yeah. You know what a shakedown is? Yeah. What is it? Tell the people. So when you get searched, your whole yeah your your cell or the job where you're at gets taken yeah. and ripped apart. You know what a shiv is. You know what a shank is. S I S. Let's see how you S I S. And I knew them very well. No, is it a term of? Time served? No, it's a special investigative service. The CIA of the prison guards who investigate incidents in prison. What does it mean? It's like the, What's SIS mean? A special investigative oh, okay. uh, unit okay, or service. Okay. Yeah, they're terrible, you know. Uh, SIS. SIS. You know what strapped means? SIS. Special investigative wait, wait. service. SIS. Okay. They're, ISS. they're the police of the prison. No, they're, school the, suspension. they're the police of the prison. Yeah, in school suspension is oh, ISS. I know that one. You know what being strapped means, right? Strap. You got a weapon on you. <coughs> exactly. A good one. Huh. <laughs> you with us? Oh yeah. I know. I know. I know. I'm just talking. I'm just talking some Take flight. Are uh, you getting high? No. Take a uh, to attack person using fists. You oh. didn't see that a lot in. You'd see it, but not a lot in prisons. You'd see more, more like with a weapon of some sort or something like that. People don't care. They, they, they're not there to, they're, you know, they're there to uh, cause. Not, not, yeah, it's not. It's trouble? not going to be right, exactly. So because they have life or uh, it, no, or... someone you because they don't care. They got too much time, and there's yeah. no such okay, thing as fair so fight. Time, yeah. Oh, let's duke it up. I used to fight a lot, but I'd get drunk and be stupid, and people would know it. You know, so I mean, I, I that was a good thing. That's just what it was. So it was okay because you were messed up. Even the guards would be like, "All right, he's no, they put up. they it, they they you know it depend on if it was a good guard, good. Could place. you get grounded? Would they just put you in your cell and lock you in? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, Instead good guard would do that. You, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Just getting grounded. I'd rather get grounded than sent to the hole. You you should notice in sentencing, what does running wild mean? Like consecutive. Running, yeah, second. You're consecutive one after yeah. the other, right? A sentence that's running wild. That's tough. I think you, I could take the bar here shortly. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how you do, but you could give that. it a shot. I think I could do that. I'm gonna do that. Oh my god! You know what is a shot? A shot is an infraction, right? Prison infraction. Do you think I don't listen? Sometimes I guess you do. You know what <laughs> lockdown is? Lockdown, lockdown. lockdown. It could happen for many late reasons, right? Yeah, but it That's means it. when they, they, they yeah. t- all the prisoners Everyone have to go has back to, to go, cell. Yes. Right. But what? it could happen for what? A murder, a drugs, a fight, anything. stabbing, a, a knife rowdiness, missing. Rowdiness. Sure, yeah. but they're not going to lock the whole prison down usually. Like if a knife, 
like a big like, like a tool, a tool, like an actual a tool, tool. Yeah. At, a, at a down where they do leather or something. If that comes yeah. up missing, leather. You guys are doing leather in prison. They had a leather shop yes. for what? People made saddles. People made handbags. To sell? Oh, they'd send them to the street, and make money. Absolutely. You? No, not me. But the prison would. People. No, I'm saying no. the person. Say you took us leather. You would sell it for your own commissary money. Sure, or the I'd, s- would? I'd send it to my wife or people you could on do the street. That? Yeah. What are these people doing in prison? Not making stuff like that. Oh, they are most of them. You oh, know, I'd be key. in the leather shop every Mo- day. Yeah, people are. Oh, I mean, guys that they I get did that. not. Well, what else is there in prison? Can you go to like work sh- wood shop? No, no. Oh, well, leather. I mean, they might have a, a but a, you know a tiny shanks to work with leather. They're all little tiny shanks. The tools and right, and you have to check them out. Like they have a guy in a I cage. Would, I'd rather trust a prisoner with a saw. No, nope, than ha- little no, tiny the, uh, shanks. No, because <laughs> one of that one of those tools come up missing. Whole it's harder to locked find. Down. It's harder to find one of those than it is a, a circular saw. They will come up. <laughs> a circular they, saw listen, is way easier key. to find. They have a guy, right? Look, listen to me. How how controlled it is? Do they have like robotics? No, they should. Why not? At least why? No, I, uh, why what, what Fighting are they robots? That? That'd be a, a pretty badass prisoner thing to do. You know what money on the books mean? It's, yeah. It's when you Somebody put sends money you money. Your books. So, yeah, yeah, put it, it on your books. Right, yeah. A new jacks, you know that is. What is it? A new jack. A new inmate? No. 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 A new Close. guard. New guard. Yeah, he's but a not jack. a cowboy. What's the difference between a new jack and a cowboy? A cowboy's just a cocky. You could be a new guy and not be a cocky prick and try to act tough. And Someone all that. who's maybe new to the prison would be in, you know, no with new experience. jack. I mean, no, no. I'm saying a cowboy would be kind of just new to the prison. But with experience, yeah, and, yeah well, or and not. A, new jack a, would kinda, a, a cowboy's a, a, a cocky prison guard who thinks he's a badass. How, yeah. What I'm just trying to say is I think more cowboys would have experience under their belts. But in a new prison, they'd be a cowboy. They would know, yeah. I mean, oh, definitely. They'd just come in being yeah, it, totally instead of a new jack would be oh. freshly off training. Like, okay, like let's go by the rules and you know, one hundred percent that can happen, and and it does. You know, what, people. I, I had someone the other day actually tell me, oh, but you know, you talked to certain guards, you did, certain, yeah, absolutely. I, I would get in. I would have guards give me information. Of who's good or not, you know, in the prison, like, oh, that guy's a rat, law, and he's no good. Because that guard's really a good dude. Just because they're a guard. Again, I got to push back on all these people who, who talk about what rats are and what. Let me tell you what a rat is out there, everybody. A rat is a person, if Nick and I do a crime, we do drug dealing, and Nick gets caught, and he goes, I'm not doing that. I'm not. Who we got here today? Hey, Ma. Hi. Come in here and get Molly down off my table and going after the roses. Okay. I listen to you. Do it now. Wow. Did you hear that, folks? Nick, take over for a minute. All right. He wow. is in a he is in a uh, emergency cat situation. And that, uh, the paper wow. didn't help. The paper didn't help. Oh, the tinfoil paper didn't help, guys. We tried to avoid the cats eating the uh, roses off of the flower bed, the for her birthday. Listen. Oh, yeah. So she got a bunch of flowers for her birthday, which was really fun. Larry was a pretty. You guys hear it? Can you guys hear it? No. Everyone loves putting their ear to the wall, so I thought maybe. No, she got a bunch of flowers, a bunch of roses for her birthday. Which Larry drove us all over. Sorry if this is boring, guys, but I'm trying to eavesdrop. Um,. Which is cool. Larry drove all the way around Florida, or you know, Central East Florida, down to Vero, past the bridge. We went to eat. Ooh! As you can see, everybody, this is the real deal. Ooh. When sixty-two-year-old Larry Law he is yelled at by his ninety-one-year-old mother, <laughs> it's in trouble. She said, that cat's eating the roses. My roses that I got. I go, ma. Why don't you just spray some water? You got a little bottle there. Get the cat. Oh, I should have did that. <laughs> oh, my God. I said, Mom, do you want me oh, to Oh, she's going to be binging them now. Bam. She's going to be hitting no, them. No, she won't. You know her. <laughs> she'll, she'll never do that. No. Not her. No, no. I know. That'd no. be awesome. Yeah. Wow. That was awesome. 
I'm yes. gonna clip that one for sure. Oh, that was good, huh? Now. <laughs> that was really good. So, uh, what else? You gotta love it. No, <laughs> did you, you see her it. come in here? That's awesome. She comes in here as you know how easy we could have her on camera. Oh my! She God. didn't know any of this was going on. No, she has awesome. not a clue. She's we have to have her this, reaction to Mister Beast. There's lights all over this. Yeah, place. we have to have <coughs> no, her. Rea- it. We have to sit her down and have her react to Mister Beast, bro. I'm telling you. Oh my God! Tell she, her these she, are the new game shows that are on today. Put it on the TV. Be like, this is all that's on. We should do that. Really? Do, no, all day. Let's have it an all day running something. Like, all day be like, this is literally all that's on my life. No, we, I, I don't know. It ain't going to work. We have to go in there for an hour, and then I put it on and say, this is your channel, Ma. Let no, her watch a I'm little saying, bit and see what she says. Maybe she'll like it. Just say that that's the whole, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not, it doesn't have to be 24. I'm just saying. No, what I mean, I think say, she'll like some Mr. Beast on. video. Yeah. You know, when he gives away, today, makes Ma. people hear. Yeah. You know, all his stuff he does. I'm telling you. Just be like, this is all that's on today. They're she trying a new no channel. no desire to come on my show. You know that. Yeah, I yeah. ask my mother all the time, people. I say, Mom, just come on. That's why I mic you up. It can hear her because it's next to her. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we have some video of her. She's so funny. You know, some of the stuff that you got to give me and I'll put it up. You know, the crazy stuff she does. As we were just saying, cut- my mother, no, you won't. Too. My yeah, mother will. is fun. Uh, she she really is. Larry gets- keep Keeps you funny. She makes us laugh because I always say, man, if I ever could make, I wanted my mother to smoke a joint. Remember that? Mom, can you smoke? What? She doesn't know she does gummies, but <laughs> little ones, though, because the doctor says it's good for her. So. They're literally nothing. They're like one milligram gummies. Oh. You know, they, she gets a 10 or a 5 cut up into fours. You know, <laughs> they're like 1.1s or something, whatever it is. I don't know how, but they get all get cut up into fours, and I know they're no stronger than ten. I don't know, Nick. I saw her a little bit. The uh, loopy. Well, that's because she was eating all of them. She, she was like, "Yeah, I had like five of them." Yeah, these are good. She yeah. said one time. I was like, "Oh, she's on like ten milligrams. She is feeling oh, it." She you know? about five mil, yeah. whatever it was. She was feeling. My mother is the person, guys, who has never used the word "fuck," and I'm not kidding you. People think I know I came from this lady, and it is crazy, right, Nick? Am I wrong? It is right? crazy. No, yeah. <laughs> you you guys got away with a lot of stuff. Oh, you what do you mean got away? We didn't get away with anything. Really? You guys weren't shooting uh, windows out with BB guns while your <coughs> yeah, mom was What does was that a, mean getting away? Your every mom kid was does asleep? That. Every kid no, does that. No, not every kid does that, buddy. Some kids have respect for like the value of things. And like other oh, people have you? to fix it. Yeah. I never broke anyone's things as a kid. You never kicked the car. No. You no. never. Uh... No. I've kicked the government vehicles. Yeah. I don't have respect for their money, but I have respect for a neighbor's money. Yeah, for oh, sure. Oh, you never, never did anything wrong. Not to a neighbor's oh, never piece graffiti, of property. Never did nope. anything. Nope. Not on a piece of neighbor's property. No. I've graffitied in abandoned buildings. I'm talking oh. about the value of You know, some somebody owns person's. that building. It has to have no. it painted now. No. No. No, because it's St. Louis, uh, and they uh, literally uh, let buildings go abandoned. Like, you have to, they total buildings. You can't, you, you got to knock them down. So, And painting, you're in those. Paint, safe. Painting in it, yeah. No, well, but what it started with was the value of another person's, you know, your neighbor's money. Like, shooting windows out of a car. No, I never did stuff like oh, that. Oh, you never did. That's, so, to say that every kid did stuff, no, never. Well, I mean, I, I think that's pretty good if you ask me. I mean, and I can't, you know, worry about that. No, well, I don't know. I think you, it's crazy to see, see the stuff that Nick thinks is like okay because he didn't do it to somebody, but he doesn't realize he is doing it to somebody. You, the taxpayer, or ooh, yeah, ooh, 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 ooh. I paid my <laughs> tax true, just yeah. went up in this neighborhood. At least I'm not doing it. They, they said they needed I, money. At least I'm not stealing Joe Schmo's car who went into a bagel shop and now can't get to and gets fired from his job. He and, got insurance. You know, his kids can't get to school or baseball players. No, there's a law anymore. in New York yeah. that if you if you get your car stolen, you can't get fired. Mm, yeah, sure. You get double <laughs> unemployment. Okay, that's how that works. <laughs> double unemployment over time. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> hey, then, hey. Godspeed. You know, God's work you were doing. Well, absolutely. Good job. Uh, I'll give you a good one for that. Well, you, you liked that one, didn't yeah. you? I knew he, you helped he would, a lot of single moms out doing that. Yeah, a hundred percent, man. Uh, okay, I I want to. I hope, first of all, with the prison stuff, I want people to comment 
and tell me one what they like to hear on what I talk about prism. I did it the other day on on live. I talked about the story of uh, what prison story that I talk about because I I was going to talk about a prison story. I'm gonna start doing videos about when I got drunk in prison and what happened with me and Ron Nance That's a good and idea. stuff like that. And you know. Man, I remember getting up one day and my eye was black. And my Where are all these stories? You just remembered them? Well, I always start thinking about drinking in prison and my yeah. buddy Ron Nance, man. Big big Ron. I love Big Ron, man. He was a old he was a convict, man. I still hear from him occasionally. <coughs> He's in California, did a lot of time. He was in California State, did Pelican Bay, did a lot of tough time. What was he in for? <coughs> he was in for me for just having a gun. Got 10 years for having a gun. Didn't use it. Didn't brandish it. They so found he's a felon beforehand? Felon yeah. with a gun. Got 10 years. Not a what robbery, did he do nothing. Huh? What did he do to be a felon? Do you know? Oh, what did Ron, uh, Ron was drugs and all, I think also a bank robbery. Also, was, I don't know what Ron oh, did. Okay. Ron did a lot of... Ron probably shouldn't have had a gun. No, but why he not? Also shouldn't... He lived in Montana. Oh, okay. Ron can have a gun. I, I mean, first have... of all, I believe everyone no, should I be, have no, a gun. No, I do believe like Kodak, he, Kodak should have a gun. On yeah, why? I, I believe Kodak Black. I hundred percent agree with everybody believe, should be yeah. able to have a gun if they they did their time, not on yeah. paper because that's time. But if you're off probation, off all parole or probation, now when do you believe that a gun should be taken away? Then I don't. If why? you do your time, mm, if no, you're scared saying, of no, me no, no. getting out of prison, no, and not getting prison a gun. and everything. No, like when do you think that there is enough violations of a? Uh, uh, irresponsible gun owner to just be like you cannot have guns anymore. Okay, what happens when you get out of prison and then is you you do something irresponsible with a gun again? Well, hold on, you I just say get out. First of all, if I get out of prison, I'm usually on paper. Somebody's yeah. on three years, and then paper. you get caught with a gun and doing uh, something irresponsible on paper. With, yeah, that's different. I'm not, I'm still in jail. I should go to jail because I'm on paper. So just go back. You, oh yeah, so you go back to prison. Paper. Okay, so you have being three years on paper, paper. You believe? Okay. Oh yeah, but once, not being a felon, once yeah. you complete your sentence, mm -hmm. I've done my time. I'm off paper. I have no restrictions on travel or anything of that nature. I should be allowed to have a gun. That's a first. That's my second amendment. There's ten. The original can ruin bill it, of rights. What? Well, I, I believe some people can ruin it for the rest of their life. Yeah, but that no. But I the only way I think you should murder by gun should never own. Then a Then don't again. let them out. Because he then can go get a gun anyway. Don't let him out then. Oh, you really don't believe that. I know. No, don't, don't just sell him a gun, argue. Larry. Don't sell him a gun. What's the matter? He can go he get can a go gun get, on the street. Let him go get one. Go. They, you Is, can't. Why should they, the government be on that? that? No, whenever, Larry. What about me protecting I can myself? I get a gun whenever I want. What, what about me protecting what? myself if I live near, near in the woods? I can't go, have a gun? Go, fine. Then you, you uh, establish borders and parameters. You can, can't have a gun around people. But if you... Literally got caught with having a gun and misusing a gun so many times. How, well, you say so many times. That's, first of all. All of these guys the, get caught so many times. With no, guns see, you're wrong, have. Nick. Okay, I'm wrong. Whether it's Kodak Black or whoever, or myself. Yeah. No. Here's what they should do. If you complete your sentence, you should have all your rights given back. Whether it's voting, whether it's a gun, whether whatever rights were taken away as an inmate. So what you're saying is he should have had 10 years then. That was the law. He had, he shouldn't have been having a gun because he was on papers. Your friend. He was not on paper. You said he was on paper. And I went did back. not. I said he was a felon. Oh, a felon. Okay. There's okay, a big okay, difference. Okay. I'm a felon right now. I've been out of okay. prison for 16 years. 16 all right, years. All right, I got you. If I get caught with a gun, I go to prison for 10 years. You think that's right? No. In fact... If you're in your truck and I get in your truck yeah, and you yeah, have yeah. a gun under the seat, I go to prison if they want. Yeah, That's good, wrong. And I don't believe this country should be doing that to people. Period. Some people don't need guns. I believe. Yes, that. maybe someone who's a mental condition. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. certified by a, a mental doctor. I know. I said what was the line and you well, said you didn't there let is me no answer. Line. You didn't, I I said no. Oh. <laughs> I don't think anybody who committed a crime of any sort, any sort, who gets out cuz now you're getting out, you're in the public, the the system but they're deemed, mental. Oh, I mental. didn't say a mental patient. Oh, okay. There's a difference. Well, there are mental people in prison. Of course. There's mental people uh, out of prison. Mm. So do you think your neighbor... What, what, you think your neighbor should have her gun taken away? Depends on what they did. I don't well, know. She didn't do Is anything, but they saw, they said oh, she no, was no. mental. Well, if she's mental, then she's mental. Well, who's bro? saying she's mental? I don't know. Who is, Larry? I don't know. You. This is a make-believe woman. Did she go to court? What'd she go to court for? Who's telling me she's I mental? Didn't. I said, would she you, go to court? Would she get no? So no, I don't believe she's oh, mental. I can hear in the paper she's mental all I okay, want. Okay, if a person who no. is deemed mental, 
by the courts for some okay. reason. There's not for some. What is the reason? Then? Okay, you know that doesn't matter. I can have my next door neighbor that I know is not mental be deemed mental, and I need to know the reason. So if he's a mental you know? person, if the reason is just because he likes to eat too much and he became fat, and that's why. And then I'll be like, "You're good on me, bro." So you're good. You're so you're good. gonna you parse it down good. like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. To know somebody, yeah, I need to know what that, that, there what has that to is. be such a strong. And I'll be like, "Oh, me and you, all right." There <laughs> <laughs> is that not how you are? No. You are like that. Someone could have seven murders under their body, and after you talk to them, you'd be like, oh, me and you are Oh, he's good. a good, good person. That's exactly what I'm saying. Right. I'm determining that. It okay, so what I hear are you the determiner people. of who should own a gun? No, I'm not. So who should be? I'm not. I'm asking I, I'm you. I'm not. I don't you know. You said this some is people me. shouldn't have a gun. Me. This is above me, Easy, Larry. Nick. This is above are me. Are you going to talk like a gentleman? We can have a conversation? We're not. We're not We're talking not. like... You're not talking like I'm a I'm not gentleman. asking you quite... Wow. I want you guys to comment... You I asked already me. said I don't know. I said I would determine if they were or not. I don't so know. So you just told you me. You were saying I don't know the story. I said that I don't know either. I need to know what they did to make to determine if they're mental So or not. you, you I, okay. So you believe everyone should have a gun? Yeah, until I somebody until, determines. Until who determines? That's I don't know. Point. I'm not the guy. I'm not okay, the guy. Okay, so you don't know what to do. I never said I did. Okay. I'm just asking. Just asking. What What is the point until someone's like, hey, this guy doesn't need a gun anymore? Yeah, and then I, you started going into mental cases like, well, no, my, my point is, I don't believe anybody should tell you that. <laughs> who are they to tell me I, I shouldn't have a gun? I don't know. I don't believe there should be somebody out there telling was, people they should just, have a gun. I don't know. I don't believe the law should be said. Now, our laws were passed, so you have to go by them. Yeah. But that doesn't mean I, I have to like the law. I have to abide by it or I go to prison. And what I found is there are good people out there who get screwed by the law all the time. Or, and and then they say, man, that's not right. I says, well, you're the one who voted or you're the parents the one. You're the one who wants that congressman in there who voted against that. I don't believe, I think the laws with drugs are out of whack. I think the laws of, of uh, rehabilitation are out of whack. They have in the, in, in the books, in the law, punishment is the number one. Now, I don't think it should be number one. I think rehabilitation should be number one. I think punishment, or they shouldn't even call it punishment. They should call it corrective measures or whatever should be deemed to somebody. Listen, unless we're going to give up on anybody, if, if, if every person who does a crime, any crime, loses his rights, why don't we just shoot everybody who ever committed a crime? You can't because everybody's committed a crime. You've committed a crime. So why should you, you you're, now we're judging everybody in every level. You're saying, oh, now people are going to write, and they should. Oh, but if they use a gun, they should never be able to use a gun again, right? Correct? You're putting things in my mouth. No, I well, don't I'm know giving what you, you're saying. Am I wrong I or right? I don't know. Okay, now I'll put another thing in your, your guys. <laughs> so that's like trying to say if anybody ever got caught robbing someone with a knife, they can never touch a knife again. They can't cut a be piece of beef again. I'm saying at what point, Larry? I'm That's not what saying. I'm talking about. That's the whole question. Now, at what point do you let him back out and he robs another person with a knife? Do you just keep huh. him in prison forever? The next time he's up, they okay. have it. There they you have go. A There's the answer. They have a There's system the for that, Nick. There you go. Life you're a prison. repeat offender Life and your points go up and you, you have go. to do more time. Life in prison. Life? Yeah. There's a certain point where... It, you're saying that he can't come back out on paper because he's going to keep picking up knives. Well, well, That's the whole thing. So you're thinking two times, three times. What, what's the number for you? I don't know. I, there is none. I'm not part of the court system. I'm asking when so, is it to the point where someone's like, okay, you're not doing this again, dude. You know what's something, and I'll That's tell what I'm that asking, everybody like, how is. How many times does someone have to, I don't know. I'm asking, when is it the point when someone goes to jail, they're on papers, they get caught with when a you gun. Say it, when they're on paper, they're still in jail. Okay. They get out. They're on papers. They start messing around with guns. No, on paper, they go back. you go to jail. Okay. And is that the last time? When is the point when they're, 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 they're done no. giving him chances to mess no, around? No, no, no. See, you're missing the point. You There's, just said he's in jail. He's got a gun. No, I said he's on paper. That's in jail. Out, out Technically, that's in jail. Okay. And By people the constantly have guns on paper. Well, then they should be held accountable. Okay. Now, if a person what, does his time, he gets off of paper, Yeah. like I did, yeah, I believe you should have a gun. I totally do. I don't know what we're talking about at this point. Because you're saying, uh, you know, uh, what, uh, and I'm telling you that anybody who completes a sentence, okay. period. Yeah, they can have whatever they want. Whatever they want. Whatever they want. They want, okay. a, they want 
you know, a bazooka, they can have a bazooka. Okay, and then once they're off their paperwork and they did something bad again with the gun. Then they're going to go to jail for whatever they did. And restart it, or is it going to be tacked back on? Just be like, oh, he was never an offender with a gun, even though he robbed someone? Oh, no, no, there's a system in place for that already. that's what I've been asking. That's the whole thing I've been asking. You see how hard it is to talk to young people? My point, and it was very, very basic. If you complete your sentence, did you hear what I said, everybody? Nick, when you complete yeah. your sentence, that and then means you there's get no paper. Doing something again so you get caught. It. It's okay. just like you never did anything. You got caught. Now they have a system in place that you have more points if you committed a prior that's crime. That's all I was asking. Yeah, that's, and that's been established. Okay. I'm not a lawyer. I've never been in the court system. Most people know yeah, that. So they, they, if you most get people caught don't. The second no. time, yes, they do. You, uh, you let me know, guys. I've talked enough. If a person commits a crime, they should be held accountable, period. No matter what, if he ever did or not, he should be held accountable, period. Once he completes his sentence, completes, and I don't care if it's his fifth time, he should be allowed to have his constitutional rights back. Let's just leave it at that. Let's not take the gun in in, in place because it's the Second Amendment. It is the Bill of Rights, the first 10 of the Constitution or the Bill of Rights, those are those are important. Now there's 27 Bill of Rights. There's 27 amend. There's 10 Bill of Rights, and then there's 17 times those amend. We have 27 rights you have, and it goes all the way to slavery. It goes all the way to everything. What's illegal? Even prohibition. You know what prohibition was? Prohibition. Do you know what the story of it? It was alcohol. Yeah. But do you know what happened? They just. In, Deemed it illegal. In they 1920, yeah. they deemed it illegal. Now that is, in, and then they had to repeal it because 10 years later, they found that it was causing more problems than it was helping. People tried to start, that is when control, people started controlling other people. And when one person tells another person what to do is right, as long as they're not hurting anybody, that to me is wrong. That means you're not in a free country. I love people say, we're in the freest country in the world. Really? You think you're in a free country? I disagree. We're not in a free country. A free country, you would have your rights. You would have everything another person would have. That's being free. Apparently, we're not. If you have, if you, by law, if you have anal sex, that's against the law. Does that make you free? I don't know. My point, again, is whenever you think you're free, think about what the government tells you you can and can't do. You get a fine if you don't wear a seatbelt. A seatbelt. Your safety has nothing to do with anybody else. Your safety. And you get fined. That's free? Now they could make laws that say, hey, if you're, if you, you, no insurance is paid, if the insurance companies want to do that, if you had no seatbelt on, we're not going to pay your medical bills, you're going to go broke. Whatever you, know, you want to pass, but don't tell me I have to do something or it's illegal. And that's what they're saying. And that's what I, I have a problem with. Give me the choice of that seatbelt. Just like the helmet law. You believe in helmets. I know you do. Right? Do you not? Yeah, I do. Okay, I, I don't. Yeah. But that's just my no, choice. It's the, the law. I don't care about the law. I just think it's dumb to get like, on a motorcycle. And, and that is your privilege. Yeah. But in some I'm states, not force it's a you law. To wear one. Right. In some states, it's a law, or you can't ride. You get a ticket. Right. So I don't believe in a lot of those things when the government comes in and starts making more and more laws to tell you what you can and can't do. That to me. Why do you think I will never personally, Nick, live in a uh, like a gated community? Because they have too many laws and too many rules. Oh, if I wanted to paint my house with a, with a nice trim of, of orange and, I don't know, black, whatever, I don't care. No, you can't. We don't like it. It's not in our laws. Or the board didn't pass it because it, we think it's going to look bad. So now your taste is what my taste is. See, now, they're doing that, and that's voluntary to live in there, so I'll never live in one of them. Put it this way. My brother-in-law lived in a gated community. Yeah, HOA. HOA he had a 36-foot yeah. RV. Up to 34 foot, they wouldn't let you have it in your drive. Now, you had big houses. Each, each lot was a, uh, like an acre and a half. or But you can't have a 36-footer, but you can have a 34-footer. 
I mean, who's going to... And they had people would walk around. They had somebody come well, up to his place. he chose to be that. To Again, be there. that's why it's hard for me to say it. I won't live in one of those because I don't like those people. First of all, I consider them what they call condo Nazis. You know, those people just want to bother you, wait for you Karens. to mess up. And, Karens. Huh? Karens. Karens. Yeah, good point. Karens. I learned that word when I did something. Karens. I agree. I think that's crazy that, that people can, you know getting other people's business when they're not bothering you. Listen, I'm all about respect. If I am disrespecting you, whether it's your privacy, whether it's your... Listen, I understand noise ordinance. At 10 o'clock at night, there's a noise ordinance that you can't make noise because people want to go to work the next day and you're in interfering with other people. But if I put soundproof stuff in this room and I want to blast that music at zero so my eardrums pop, that should be my privilege. So noise and like thinking something is bothering just by the look is different to you. Where does someone get to draw that line on a color than noise? Color oh, can bother uh, someone. The way your house looks well, bothers. Co people. No, just don't look at my house. No, you it, can't n shut your ear off. You could do something with your house to make it. No, no, no. See, now I'm Where's putting another line, person though? out. Yeah. I am giving you the line. Yeah. When you put when you inconvenience or you put another person out. You could block their, their shade of the sun they bought on well, your land. They, they have those with yeah. what? With What can I block? You could build a tree house that blocks they their have garden. The, no, they, have, they yeah. have laws that you can't, again, go a certain so. height to impede a neighbor. Okay. And I get that. You know, to even have that with stuff. I t anything that has to do with affecting another person's quality of life, another per quality of life, I believe that then it, that, that could have a a group thing, a setting where people can debate and, and say, okay, that's not too much, that's not bad. But listen, if you told me, listen, hey, I work night shift and I can't have music at 6 o'clock at night because I happen to work the 11 to 7 shift and I'm sleeping, then now you're pushing it, you know, and that's not the majority and now the whole, we have to be inconvenienced So the majority, you. the majority says blue's ugly, no blue. So it's the majority, there's your line. It's not a majority, Nick. I know you're just trying to argue. No, I'm saying really. They're like Ooh, that, that's not bothersome. What is the majority? I'm, I'm talking there about it something that's bothersome. Gonna, when does it come? When you can't do anything about it without costing you a lot of money. How's that? Make it easy. For me to not hear that sound, I'd have to soundproof my house. Now it's costing me thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars because you're in, you're doing that. Putting the color of my house on the way is not going to bother you in any yeah. which way or cost you in any which way, would it? I just don't see where people could come up and say to me, Larry, it's wrong. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. I'm going to bed. All right. Go ahead, Mom. Can you light the lights? You want me to turn everything off? Turn them off. I'm right here. We're, I'm in the middle of a show. All right. You want to? That's okay, Mom. You want to come out here? Right, no. You sure? <laughs> uh, just to let everybody know see you ma what I do is I take mom and I, and I bring her to bed uh, to her room and then shut the lights but she can do it I just do it every night usually tonight we just happen to be doing a, a podcast uh, doing this uh, but you know I just this this conversation got on to the what we believe in the rights of people which is a good one and I love to debate I love lawyers get a lawyer on here I've had doctors on here talk about drugs. And as they all said, two renowned, do three actually had doctors on this show and they all agreed with me that they believe all drugs should be legal. And when we discussed that, they go, what about fentanyl? And I said, I believe even fentanyl should be legal. And people go, what do you mean? I go, we can't have the government telling us what's legal or not. Because if you want to kill yourself, if you're worried about fentanyl, how about go to the paint store? How about kids? Nick, did you ever sniff paint? No. I'm you ever not sniff idiot. dinner? Do you know kids no. who did? No, we're not idiots. No. I never knew kids that huffed glue. All right. No. We With did that like said, I think we're we going to like close whippets. the show up, everybody. We did like whippets, which is like kind of just as bad, but no glue, no. But like, you know, like air freshener, like uh, to clean out your keyboard. No, that you turn that upside down. You know, I, I, I need to buy that, but, but no that, glue. That's expensive, no. actually. I didn't know. Yeah, it, it is, and you need an ID to buy it. But no, I never knew kids that did. Glue. I need an ID to buy that stuff. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you don't, but like if I went and I like, shaved my face, yeah, they really, me. yeah, I had no idea. And Elmer's glue, you have to have Elmer's school glue, like the the stuff in the the glass can. But I never knew. Are you, kids are you that talking did about the, glue. the white glue? No, no, that's like in a glass. It's got like the paintbrush on it. You have to have your ID for that too. But I never knew kids that did the that. glue. I knew kids that no glue. Like that was always just like people said it. Oh, that so was no, our era. Yeah, I never knew. We kids used to buy models. You, you know, know the, the, it's a spray, and then you huffed it. You filtered it. No, no, oh, I know that. Do you, you know what out. model glue is? It's that same glue. Yeah, that's the glue I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah that, it smells like that awful. gets you high as yeah, hell. That burns your brain glue. cells. Well, kids, but no, I never knew people. That we did, did it. No. We all did it. No. I mean, we got glue, and then you'd be doing a model, and then you'd see it, and you could sniff it. You'd start getting a headache, or or you get high, or whatever it was. Yeah. So people sniffed glue. Obviously, they burn brain cells to the to the max. You know. Yeah. So if somebody wants to hurt themselves, they're gonna hurt themselves. But. I mean, where is the parents to tell somebody, what are you doing? But then how many times, how many things do you have to put an ID on then too? You know? That's what I'm trying to say. I don't, you know, it's too much. That's why if everything is like legal. spray paint. I could do the same thing with spray paint. It's huff it. You right. Know? I could get rid of the paint and then the air that's left. Not even that. You I probably can... could do the, you could probably put the, the, the paint on a, like a, uh, like a t-shirt or something and go the other way. And oh, I was that. just trying to get the air out of it. They shoot whatever well, is compressing the, the, the fumes it. Fumes or whatever. Because that's what you get high off of the whippets. Whatever compressing the can is what you inhale. I mean, I I, I think I, I don't know if it, is, it, is it the whippets when you and then you or is that helium? Uh, that's helium. It's kind of like a whippet. Same kind of thing. If you like inhale it right, it's the same thing. Because people would take yeah the whippet the 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 balloon canisters right and yeah helium it's the same can. thing yeah. But no, I never knew people that did glue. Like if that. people want to get high, they're gonna get high again. Anything you like want, like you know do, you the can. the cartridges to airsoft guns, those little. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are whippet silver ones. People pop those and inhale those, and that's a whippet. And and you say they ask for IDs with that? Yeah, with that stuff. Yeah. Man, I never knew that. That 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 really shocked me that they do that. Uh, I, and I'll tell you, listen, I'm sick of government overreach. That's just me. Maybe I'm getting older. I'm not young. I'm glad I don't live in this this world we're living in today. I just think everybody wants to tell everybody what to do to a degree. Let, why don't we let some people OD? Let people, whatever happens, happens. And that's the end of that. You know what I mean? Maybe it'll stop people from, from doing stupid shit. Well, you know, yeah, especially the moms that are out here, like, picketing about fentanyl. If everything was legal, they wouldn't have to be cutting with fentanyl because your kid could go when he's 21 to the store and buy cocaine instead of fentanyl. Right, or whatever it you is. Know? You know? <laughs> and then you could sue the, 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 the shop that sold it to your kid instead of some random drug dealer you're never going to find. Trust me, they're not gonna, <laughs> they'll have that covered with enough yeah, legal Yeah, oh, for stuff. sure. You sign it all away. Sign it away. You can't die. But, I mean, come on. If you went in and you bought cocaine capsules and they gave you fentanyl capsules, oh, no, oh, that's somebody's different. getting money Listen, taken out of their bank account. Trust me, you, you know? can do that. You can go, you <laughs> can, hey, you can go to a store and buy something that doesn't say it have peanuts in it, have an allergy, yeah, and die, and you money. will die. Someone's you getting money get taken out of their bank account for that. Absolutely. <laughs> like, but you trust me, these companies are my quick. They know that shit. suing someone. Look at that GTA 6 background they put up there. Oh, that's totally a G. That's a Miami. <laughs> yeah, that's a Miami one. But, yeah, so now I, I'm just looking at that. So in that regard, listen, prison slangs, I don't want people to have to know those. I don't. I don't want people to have to know what... Uh, uh, about any of the prison stuff or the, how bad Mississippi prisons are or whatever. I'm doing more on that because I get down those rabbit holes. Uh, but you're going to be some seeing them, some new editing, some new f thumbnails. I hope you're liking our Facebook. Our Facebook, if you haven't been there, go check it out. There's a lot of videos on our Facebook now, right? We're really mm -hmm. popping that off. And oh, we, yeah. We, you know, we, we're doing a good job there. And we're going to increase on Instagram and TikTok, at least for now. Unless TikTok gets banned, it was passed. Do you know TikTok was actually passed uh, by the first committee to ban it? I don't believe they should do that personally. It, yeah. But uh, do you really think there's a at Chinese that point government yeah. agency? At that do? point, we are literally North Korea. <laughs> like It's the well, same thing. I mean, you know, let's face oh, I mean, it. I'm going to need a VPN. Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess you could. Uh, how are they going to stop that? How would they you stop can't. that? Just like how they tried to stop porn in whatever state a couple months ago. Oh, and they had they? to revert what, what it. What state? Uh, look it up. They tried to stop it in some, I don't know, Kentucky or something. 
Really? Alabama or some, it was one of those states. They tried stopping porn and then they, everyone got like VPNs and then they started messing up the internet and stuff with it. And they, I don't know if they reverted it or not, but I know some stuff was going down with it. Ah, you're right. January 23rd, just this year, Oklahoma state senator tries to outlaw porn. Uh, patently offensive. That is crazy. How can anti-porn laws pull lists state yeah. by state? You got to be crazy. <laughs> I mean, who in the, that would be crazy. And now this is uh, who would stop porn? Everybody likes porn. At least I think they do. Uh, and and listen, I don't believe in again censoring things. At what point are we going to? Oh, man, we're getting worse and worse. I think that people just want to have control over other people. I really do. I think that's part of it. But I think, look at mandatory device filters. Could you imagine that? <laughs> Man, I'm glad I'm getting old because I like porn. Uh, I don't know. Most people do, I think. Some people like it more than others, I think. I do probably. You know, you don't give a crap about it too much, do you? No, I'm not a big porn consumer. I watch it for sure. Were you When you were yeah. a kid, did you do it? Um, yeah, I think every kid goes through their phase where they learn about porn, but I think I quickly like got over it where I was like, oh, okay, whatever. It's, I mean, what I've I never find, been like a big porn person. Listen, I, I, I like it. I almost think the, the, the like, moans annoy the hell out of me. Really? Like they, like, and, I, and I like that. Oh my God. It's you know what like it is with so porn? Cringy. When you get it out it's of your so head cringy. to think that's normal sex. Oh yeah, I don't think it's normal sex. No, that but I what, think, the, 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 that's, that's the four, and that's why the moans annoy the fuck out of me. I'm like, shut up, bitch. I'm so like, with the language, <laughs> wow. Going you on. don't uh, believe this. I was like, girl, you do not believe this. <laughs> you are annoying me. You don't believe this. That's when the acting comes in, yeah, man. You don't believe this. I, think, I don't believe it now listen, anymore either. You don't think women act right now? Out oh, there? they do for sure. Okay, so. even in bed they'll be acting, but they're better than that. Like, I hope they are. Some yeah. aren't, you know. Yeah. I've been with some of me. I said I once told girls, said, "Come on, yeah, stop said, it." I saw yeah. you stuck. Stop it, yeah. stop it. But uh, and that's how I feel watching like that over the top, like moaning. I'm like, see, that, that's where I think again, government overreach and all these things. Why what? are we? What? That's why I said. That's what I'm saying. They're trying to stop porn, or they're trying to stop TikTok. Uh, that had to do to... with the moaning noises. Well, no. <laughs> what, what I was I, getting. What no, I like no, to get no, off no, on, no. on no, how I, I beat off. No, my <laughs> the government is totally. I agree. I didn't want it, and I didn't say that everybody. <laughs> I am saying that what I'm get trying me over to... to beat off. Did you get me over here to beat off? <laughs> this is weird. No, <laughs> it's like Shane Gillis and Theo Fox. I love those guys, man. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I'm just, um, I don't know, maybe I'm just over, uh, listen, let people find what they like and don't like, and you know what, most people will be pretty normal, I think, yep. you know, I, I think, yeah, until even they me, have to hide yes, it. even me, everybody. we gotta, yeah, with that said, Nick, anything else to report, nope. well, let's just I hope you're not going on maps, you're not gonna start rooting for maps here shortly, we are, let's just, no, we're not ever gonna root for maps, what's okay. maps, oh, you don't know the lingo, huh, you don't know the slang of maps, no, what is it, it's the, um, minor attracted persons what is it it's not pedophiles anymore you're gonna get canceled for saying that oh i don't they're called care. maps 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 they have feelings too okay you have to call them maps minor attracted persons no that's called a pedophile a piece of shit he should need his head maps. cracked open and I'm not going to say what. He's a garbage. 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 On that note. <laughs> With that note. We don't please. want maps anywhere around. Don't Make good choices, anything. everybody. Please stay safe. See you next time. But it's definitely something you should hear. This is The Real Deal with Larry Lawton.